Hey, what's up, YouTube? Well, sorry about the noise. We have some really annoying neighbors that think they have to take hours to shower or bathe or whatever. But um, since I probably won't be making a video between now and Easter, and tomorrow's already Good Friday, today's April Fool's, I'm wearing my Happy Easter necklace. And unlike a year ago on this day, I will not be making a video outside, although I would really love to, you know, to get away from that noise of that shower or bath or whatever's going on up there. Um, today is April Fool's once again, and it is so hard to believe that such a high percentage of my videos are now turning one year old and older. Oh my gosh, I just never thought I would be able to stick with it this long, you know, to still be making videos, what? 14, 15 months later, wow. You know, when I made that very first video in January of 2020 about how men think girls shouldn't poop, I had no earthly idea, no earthly idea I would really get into it like I've been getting into it and get so much better at it. I mean, just look at the quality, how much it's improved, okay? So although I can't control our neighbors, you know, it is a lovely, sunny April Fool's Day, once again, just like a year ago. And I would like to talk about, you know, a number of things. You know, you can probably imagine um, I'm going to get off on that same topic that I'm obsessed with, which I really, really and truly, I would like to find other interests. Moving forward, I really hope to not be going on about that for much longer. Um, so, yeah, I know I say um and like and, you know, way too much because those are filler words and I try to get out of that habit, but it's just so hard when you can't concentrate, okay? So, what I like to talk about today is how it's April Fool's and, um, I'd love to be out in the beautiful weather. I really wanted to make a video yesterday, but my body just went to sleep and it's like I can't function without seven, eight hours of sleep. So, um, just went to sleep and it was kind of rainy and windy once again. Now it's sunny and windy. And there was a day moon earlier this morning, which I should have taken some pictures of, but I just felt it was too cold to do that. So, anyway, what I like to talk about is just how it's April Fool's and, um, I'm kind of having a hard decision to make because my little sister is graduating college in May and why she is so adamant about not including my mom in anything she does, you know, over the past 10 years pretty much, you know, why she is continuing this is something I do not understand. You know, how you can hate the woman that put you in this world so much that you don't even want her to see you graduate college um, is just something I don't understand because I sure wanted her to be a part of my college graduation. Um, and she was right there helping me get ready and you know she was a very important part of it so you know I just just do not understand you know and if she would have gotten married she would have excluded her mother you know the the one who is responsible for her existence from the wedding and it, it just really makes me mad and that's why my mom is glad she broke up with the guy um, because she'd much rather her not get married than to have a wedding that doesn't include her. And I somewhat agree with that. As much as everyone thinks my mom is so hateful for feeling that way, I agree with her. And finally they stopped their bath. Okay? So, um, I, I just don't understand it. You know, how you can hate the woman that put you in this world to that extent, you know? And, and she's just been, made it very clear that she will invite anyone and everyone but not my mom to her college graduation. And that is really sad. Um, you know? And, and it's like, I am, I'm in a very bad position because, you know, my mom does not want me to go to her graduation. And she pretty much made it clear to me that if I go, she will consider me a traitor. And she doesn't want to see me all summer. And if I don't go, which I just, like, I just, it's, it's the hardest thing to understand or explain. But if I don't go, I'll pretty much be here for all that time. And my dad will go see my sister. 
And a part of me would love that. A part of me would actually love it because guess what I could do? If I had five days all by myself or something like that in this apartment, YouTube, here I come. So, you know, I'd actually love it. A part of me would. You know, I don't want to tell my dad that because I really would like to see my sister graduate. Um, and I really would like to be a part of that. But it's almost like, you know, the hardest thing in the world to explain is how I can see something positive about any scenario that could happen. I mean, what my mom really wants is for me to go to her house and just not go to my sister's graduation. That would be a perfect world, but my dad is not going to do that. Um, he's not going to bring me over there. And of course, you know, this thing with the car has kind of thrown a monkey wrench in the whole thing because it's like, now I'm not a trusted driver or, you know, unless and until we get the car fixed, which hopefully will happen between now and then. Um, you know, I don't really want to be all by myself having to go get food and, you know, I mean, of course I could handle it. I mean, I, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt I could handle being here by myself. I could live on my own, you know, if I had the financial means to do so. But, you know, it's just a long story. And like I say, I do not understand why my sister in particular hates my mom or, you know, can't stand to be around my mom. Because as I've stated before, you know, she was no more abusive to my sister than she ever was to me. You know, yes, she had a temper. Yes, she got very angry about things. But she did not treat my sister not one bit worse than she treated me. You know, contrary to the lies that she likes to tell of being abused, you know. I was there and I know that if any one of us was abused, it certainly was not my sister. You know, it was if either one of us were abused, it was me. Because as I stated before, you know, I was the one that wasn't normal and she was trying to make me normal. Okay, but, you know, like I, I've stated before, you know, the mere fact that my mom did not effing kill her for all the times that she pooped in her panties, um, and oh yes, she did, the mere fact that she is still alive to, to even, you know, exist today, and I don't know if she remembers those incidents or not, but, you know, I, I just... I mean, just that in and of itself means that my mom deserves some kind of recognition as a good mother, okay? Um, it, you know, there, there's just no excuse for treating my mother like that and saying that she's an abuser and, and she wants nothing to do with her and if she never sees her again, that'll be just fine. Um, you know, it, it just makes me so mad because it just doesn't get any harder to deal with than a girl that poops in her panties well into her teen years. I mean, like I stated before, any single problem you could have, any other problem you could have with your child or your teen sounds mild in comparison to that. You know, because there's just a stigma, as I stated before, you know, involving the female gender and the bowel function. You know, because the saying isn't, Boys don't pee or boys don't poo or even girls don't pee. It's girls don't poo, okay? And so when you have a girl that's pooping in her panties, you know, that's about as bizarre as it gets for children. I mean, a space alien would be more normal than a girl that poops in her panties repeatedly. So, you know, and like I say, we're not talking about when she was some little toddler that was just learning how to use the toilet. No, we're talking about a grown-ass teenager that was old enough to have a baby, not be a baby, okay? And as much as she would try to deny it, she literally pooped eight times or more, eight times that I know of, in her panties at the age of 14. And lots of other, you know, ages surrounding that. And like, well, basically every year of her childhood, you know? And that, that's why I say, you know, this, this idea that people have that, um, well, the Rugrats were potty trained. They would never poop in their pants. Well, the older Rugrats, I mean. Um, they would never poop in their pants. <clears throat> well, you know, I happen to know that so-called potty trained kids really do crap their pants. Um, and basically, it's just ridiculous. Because, I mean, you know, to, to observe my little sister, you know, some people would have considered her potty trained, you know, around the age of two and a half to three. You know, most people, by the world's definition, she was potty trained, you know, toward the end of her third year of life. Okay, that's when she started using the toilet and wearing panties. And, you know, by most people's definition, she was potty trained. Okay, and she could talk and complete sentences and all that. And I was potty trained, you know, before I was three years old. Okay, but you see, 
with my little sister, it's like she, she just thought that playing was more important than using the bathroom. And so this argument that, you know, that when a kid is potty trained, they never crap their pants. Well, that's ridiculous because I happen to know. And I had a sister. I mean, I shudder to imagine if I would have had a brother, you know, how that would have been. Um, but, you know, she definitely crapped her pants at ages much older than the Rugrats or kids that are in potty training. You know, more like the Rugrats and all grown ugly. Okay. So, you know, I happen to know that the kids crap their pants many times when they're supposedly potty trained. Okay. And I never did it, but, um, you know, it's just so infuriating, you know, that, that people want to gaslight me about that. Um, and, and she also, believe it or not, she even crapped in a pair of panties with those very characters on them. You know, it made me so mad. Um, you know, now granted, I mean, I was too old to have rug rat panties because of course they wouldn't fit me. Um, but it just made me so mad because it was like, she was small enough to fit in panties with those characters on them. And at the time, you know, I, I never realized that they were pants poopers themselves, or at least not the older two. Um, but I think they had like the six Rugrats, like Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Angelica, and Susie, or something like that, on these panties. And she literally took a crap in a pair of panties like that. And, um, I think she was like five years old or maybe five and six because it may have happened more than once and I can remember telling her you're about twice the age of Angelica and Susie like you're Angelica plus Susie basically or Angelica plus Chucky if she was five and yet you're crapping your pants like the younger three babies and <laughs> you know I just I just could not believe the irony of it you know, and I would tell her, like, how she was so unworthy of wearing those characters because they would never crap their pants. Well, you know, we found out otherwise. But, um, you know, it just, I don't know, you know, why I have to get off on that? You know, and especially something about April Fool's, I guess it's a foolish topic. But, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to title this video, but April Fool's video, and I just hope she never sees it. But, yeah, it's like... I don't know what all else I want to talk about, but I won't be able to talk about much now that I've spent so much time talking about that. Um, but it's April Fool's, and I don't know what to do, but I'd really like to go to her graduation, but then a part of me wouldn't. I know it would disappoint my mom, and I just don't know how to please everybody at the same time. 